Good morning. Today is Wednesday, July 24th. I haven't done a vlog in, I think, like a month. Um, not necessarily intentionally. I just don't always get around to doing it and whatnot. So, um, it's really, really nice outside right now, which is nice after having such hot temperatures for a couple of weeks. Um, it was 59 this morning when I ran um, out at Lake Story. And right now it's only like 64 or something like that. But I have my long sleeve fleece jacket on and I've got, you can't see it, um, but I've got my, um, I was going to call them leg warmers, but that's not what they are. Um, they're compression sleeves. So, and I'm very thankful that I put them on because it's just a, just a tad chilly out here and it's nice for a change. I, I don't think I'm ready completely for fallish like weather, but, um, it's just nice to have a break in the temperatures and stuff like that. So, um, it's kind of a big day today. President Obama is in town, in the town where I live, Galesburg. Um, so maybe watch the news tonight. Maybe we'll be on the news or something. Um, he's speaking at Knox College. And um, Knox College is kind of famous here. Well, not famous. I don't know. It just depends on, I don't know. I had never heard of Knox College until I came to this town. But it's one of the places that... Um, where one of the Lincoln Douglas debates was held many, many hundreds of years ago. So I think that's kind of cool that President Lincoln once stood on the steps of Knox College and and spoke there. But um, but anyway, he's coming. I think to talk about uh, economic policy or something like that. I don't know. I am not. Um, I'm, I don't consider myself a political person at all. Um, I just it just doesn't really perk my interest. I'm not, I'm just not a politic person. If someone were to try and strike up a conversation with me, um, I would probably maybe look like the stupidest person in the world. Maybe not the stupidest, but you know, up there. Um, just cause I, I, I don't pay attention. I mean, I know who our president is. I, I, I you know, I kind of pay attention to the news. I'm not a big news person either. I don't, consistently sit down and watch the news all the time. We don't get the newspaper. Um, I don't watch the n nightly news broadcast. Um, sometimes I catch it. Sometimes if I know something specific is going to be on, I will sit down and watch it. Um, I watched it yesterday. My husband's like, what's going on? Why do you want to watch the news? Because we always, we tape it every night. And so yesterday I was like, you're going to watch the news? You're going to watch the news? And he's like, why do you care so much about the news tonight? I'm like, because they're going to show the vid video of when, um, Prince William and Kate come out and have their new baby and everything and um, I'm not super wrapped up in the whole uh, royal baby thing but I think it's kind of neat it's 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 world history you know it's I see a lot of um, negativity on Facebook a lot of what's the big deal it's just a baby and and I get that I really do you know the news didn't care about when I had my baby or you know as it is for millions of people around the world there are people born every day um so why the big deal but I don't know it's it's world history whether we like it or not it's world history because he's a future king that was born and um so I don't know I'm not completely in, um wrapped up in it but I thought it was pretty neat I wanted to see them when they walked out of the hospital even though I know it was delayed footage and not like I saw it live or anything like that so anyways Back to the news, back to the political. I was going to, I'm going to name my video today, Let's Talk Politics, which is ridiculous because I'm not going to talk politics at all. So just kind of something that came to mind that I'm like, oh, I haven't vlogged in a while. And sometimes I, I don't know what, what to talk about. You know, I, I can always talk about running and, and I get that. I mean, this is a running vlog. Um, nothing wrong with that, but sometimes I like to change it up. I don't want it to be redundant or the same things or anything like that. So I thought, okay, just for fun. We'll talk politics. Um, I know nothing about politics. Um, I do vote every four years or two years. Well, I mean, I know it's four years presidency. I don't mean to sound like that. I don't know how often we have a president. Every four years we vote for president. But I know sometimes we have local elections. So sometimes I vote a little more often um, for local things as well. So, but for the most part, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I have my own opinions. And I'm allowed to have my own opinions, um, but it's kind of funny because every four years on election day, my husband's always like, my husband's much more a political person, big time. You want to have a political conversation? Talk to my husband. 
he has thoughts, he has opinions, he's, you know, he's very well versed in that. I am not. I will just be like, I don't know. But, so every four years, on election day, my husband's always like, okay, you can do whatever you want. But this is who I'm voting for. So he kind of gives me the rundown in terms of um, the big offices. You know, this is who's running, this is who I'm choosing, this is why, this is not. So um, it's always funny. I obviously, he doesn't stand there and watch me to see what I do or don't vote. Uh, he doesn't force me to vote any certain way, but he kind of lets me know, hey, this is kind of what I'm thinking, and obviously he thinks I should do that too. So, and I usually just listen to him because I don't, I don't know anything, and we actually agree for the most part. Um, we have a lot of the same core views and stuff like that. Um, if you were to pick my mind about politically speaking, what do you think about? you know, immigration laws or abortion or taxes, you know, things like that. I have basic beliefs. I don't know if they're very well, um, um, I don't know. I just, I, 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 when people ask me those questions, I just tend to stick with what I believe and know. Um, I don't feel like I've been influenced one way or the other. If anything, I've maybe been a little more, I'm probably more sheltered. There are probably plenty of things that I am not aware of, things that have happened um, or whatnot that could potentially um, um, sway my decision one way or the other. But uh, for the most part, I base my political views on my religious views, if you want, if you want to put it that way. Um, the Bible is really clear about certain things, and, and that's how I live my life. Um, to each their own, but to, I live my life um, based on the Bible, and if the Bible says, has something to say about something, then that's what I vote, or that's what I base my political views on. So if it has to do with, um, you know, abortion, or gay marriage, or, you know, pick something, I don't know. Um, if I don't know the answer, if I don't have my own opinion, um, I tend to then just turn to the Bible, and whatever the Bible says is what I personally believe, um, and, and we'll stand on that. So that's kind of where I stand um, in terms of politics and stuff. I, I really avoid it at all costs because, um, number one, I'm not a debater. If you want to debate something with me, I'm just going to raise my hand and say, you win because I lose because I am not a very good debater. So um, Obama's in town today. It's kind of a big deal. A lot of people are making it a big deal. There are, I did see one person post on Facebook, um, something like, today's going to be a great, oh, never mind, Obama's in town. <laughs> I'm going to stay inside. So not everybody is, yay, Obama. Um, there are plenty of us who are n not necessarily not. Now, having said that, I did get to meet President Obama um, not quite two years ago. If you look back at the very beginning of my blog, um, I know I posted about it once or twice. Um, so that visit two years ago, not quite two years ago, um, was completely unannounced. Well, I'm sure certain people knew. But to recap the story, I'm taking my daughter to after school practice. It's just a it's just a whole home day. In fact, I had told the other kids, hey, I'm just running Angel to school. I'll be right back, blah, blah, blah. Regular day, I pull up to the stoplight in front of the high school, and all of a sudden, this huge caravan comes by, and I'm like, I'm like okay and you know and I I don't know what a presidential caravan looks like but for some reason I sat there thinking is that the presidential caravan so and the thing is I knew he was in the area he, I knew he was um, visiting the area he was going to a town meeting in Woodhall which is just um, or Alpha Alpha he was going to which is just right up the road 15 20 miles so I knew he was at least in the area so I see this big entourage and I'm like is that the president? And I said that I'm like, no, that can't be. He's not supposed to come to Galesburg. He's supposed to come to Alpha. Why would he be in Galesburg? So he does have some Galesburg ties. Um, I do happen to know that one of, um, I don't know her exact job, so don't like quote me on this, but I believe she's one of the presidential aides. Um, her parents, she grew up here in Galesburg. She graduated from Galesburg High School. Um, her parents, Mike and Cindy, they still live here and everything else. So she kind of has that Galesburg connection. Um, I don't know if that's why he did or didn't come through Galesburg or not, but I don't, it just I kind of make that connection there with with her. Um, anyway, so I, you know, I pull up, I drop off my daughter, and I kind of hang around. I see some other people. We're all kind of like, "What's going on?" There's you know the bus parks, there's secret aid, um, not secret aid, um, 
Secret Service people um, that are guarding the area or whatever. So I kind of went up with some other people. Actually, we went, this is really cool. I think this is funny. We went up to one set of Secret Service men and we're like, is that the president? Oh, whatever. And they're like, yeah, but you can't get any closer. And so we're kind of looking and it was me. And I remember the superintendent um, was there. It, it just happened, this was a group of us that happened upon each other. And so the one Secret Service man said, if you go over to that Secret Service man and let him know, you know, you might be able to get in, blah, 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 whatever, to see the president. So we walk over there, and I was all excited, you know, I got ahead of the group. I walk up to the Secret Service man, and I said, you're supposed to let us in. I was trying to be bold, okay, which is not, usually I'm like, mm, but I was trying to be bold. I'm like, you're supposed to let us in to see the president. And the Secret Service man, I mean, he almost like got mad. He's like, who told you that? And I'm like, um, that guy. And I pointed over to the other Secret Service man. And and by then, the rest of the group had caught up with me. And somebody else, I believe it was Lori, she's like, well, we're with the superintendent right here. And that Secret Service man told us that we get. I mean, she was much more. I was trying to be bold and try to be firm. Like, you're going to let us in. Um, and, uh, but Lori came up and, and was like, well, we're with the superintendent. And if, you know, they said if we come over, you guys can, you know, check us through. And so then the guy was like, all right, I guess so. But I'm like, oh, crap, man, secret president almost took me down. So that was one of my favorite moments. So I did get me the president. I thought it was neat because it was just a regular day in my life of being American. And I come upon the president. So it was neat. I got to shake his hand. I got to be there. There was an excitement. Even though I'm not, I'm very supportive of the, the office of the president. Uh, I'm, I, I, I believe that we're commanded to be very respectful of it, um, regardless of who is actually sitting in office. And, and I hold that belief, um, even though I per se am not an Obama supporter. I'm not, I didn't vote for him. Now that's not to say I'm, I'm against him or anything. I have no ill um, you know, feelings toward him. It's, you know, I just, I'm not, I, I didn't vote for him. That's not who I wanted to be in office. And I don't, what I do know of politics, I don't necessarily agree with President Obama. So, um, but still, it was a really big deal because in this average day, in fact, I remember I was wearing like jean shorts and a t-shirt and I mean, it was just an average day and, and I come upon the president and it's, to me, it's almost equivalent like if the queen you know, came through town, all of a sudden you're like, oh my goodness, it's the queen. Um, but, uh, but we don't live in England, so I don't have that, <laughs> I don't have that opportunity. Um, but to me, it's different today. He's in town. Okay. You had to wait in line yesterday to get one of 600 tickets to be able to go see him and people I've been seeing on Facebook, they're already lining up and, and everything else. And, and that's, if people are excited about it, whether, and I happen to know, I think some people aren't even necessarily Obama supporters, but they're they're excited to be able to have the opportunity to hear and see the president speak and stuff like that. And they're excited about that. And that's that's great, I guess, if, if that's what somebody wants to do. To me, it wasn't as exciting this time because um, it was pre-publicized. It was, you know, it was ramped up. You know, it's been going, talk's been going on for a couple weeks and, and whatnot. And, and uh and I just like, that's great for those people. That's exciting. But I'm not interested necessarily in going to hear what he has to say today um, and being involved in all that. So I do have a lot of meetings and appointments today. I had to be out and about through town. But um, otherwise, I'm just going to stay home and go about my everyday American life. So, so there is my political talk. Um, not really something that I bring up very often and doesn't really have anything to do with running, which is one of the great things about... Hey, baby, just a minute, I'm almost done. Um, one of the great things about running is that it doesn't matter where your views are, whether you're Republican or Democrat. And, and I never even said, I happened, I did notice that mentally. I did not say one, what I am one way or the other, although you could probably maybe guess what I am. But we don't even like to be classified as one or the other because we actually um, like and support plenty of people on the other side um, that are that are in certain offices and stuff like that. So, um there's my political view today. I, for a brief second, 
when I started this, I thought, wow, this might be my shortest vlog I've ever done. But now I see I've really, I don't know, I haven't talked to you guys for a while. So it just had to get it all out. So, but I'm going to keep it under 15 minutes and I'm getting ready to hit there. So have a great day. Uh, if you want to talk politics, great. I don't know if I have any great response to it. But if you want to talk politics, you can talk politics with me. Otherwise, just have a great day. Go out for a great run and enjoy the weather. Bye.